Okay, well, the frame's all ready to be sprayed. We've uh, rubbed down all the rusted areas, used a primer on there, rubbed them down as well, and then just used a bit of masking tape to mask over all the uh, decals because we're keeping them, keep the cost down as well. Uh, with any of these projects, what can basically happen is it runs away with itself and it costs an arm and a leg. So uh, we've just masked over the decals themselves uh, and as well it keeps it original. Um, so we're already start sprayed now, so I'm going to uh, cover this area up and uh, I'm going to hang this and uh, basically get on with the spray. Once we've sprayed it, we're then going to uh, use a lacquer and then we can get on with rebuilding the bike. start spraying. Uh, what I've been doing, I've just, uh, obviously as you can see, I've hung it from the ceiling. This is just so I can move it around, work around the frame a lot easier. Um, I've also worn the, uh, the can up to room temperature and um, basically what I've done is I've wiped down the whole frame uh, with like a thinner white spray just to remove any sort of dust at all. So uh, I'm going to crack on now and get on with the spraying. Okay, I've done two coats of the grey, it's looking really well, took all the masking tape off, you might have noticed. Basically what I'm doing now is I'm just going to use a clear lacquer, uh, just finish the whole frame off and the forks with a clear lacquer just to finish it off. So looking really well, I've saved a lot of money doing it this way and um, yeah I'm happy that I've, uh, I've got involved and uh, I'll give that a go so yeah well worth it. Right, okay, we're going to do now, let that dry for about 20 25 minutes and then reapply another uh, thin coat. So, yeah, wicked. Brilliant. Well, the frame's come up better than I thought. Really glad that I got stuck in and had a go at that myself, so uh, quite proud of that. Um, what I'm going to do now, just about to assemble the bike back up. Uh, I've got all the parts, wheels have arrived everything else. What I have had to do though, uh, because I've got a modern brake caliper, the nut at the back that actually screws uh, up, that tightens the actual caliper up, is 8mm and the forks themselves had a hole probably about 5mm on the front here, which is like an old caliper, so I've had to actually drill the back of the uh, the, the forks and uh, to actually get that to fit. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to getting the bike back together. All the handlebars are all ready to uh, pop back on, so just get the bottom bracket and the headset uh, going and there uh, shouldn't be no problem at all.
cool. Absolutely made up with this. Um, yeah, it looks great from a £50 frame. Um, got a nice uh, fixie. Uh, the chain looks really well as well with the blue links with the frame itself. And uh, very simple, really easy to put together. As I say, there's no gears, so it's been absolutely uh, a dream just to put back together. Uh, what I would say as well, though, with the Peugeot, um, so it's a 1988 uh, frame and the seat post is a 25mm seat post so I wasn't able to actually get a modern or uh, new seat post clamp so I've had to uh, work with the old one. Um, the wheels themselves, they're uh, straight off the shelf, uh, £100 and uh, really thick, really solid wheel so all that's really left to do now is uh, get it out and uh, try it out. This really has been an amazing ride. It took a bit to uh, clean it up, but well worth it. It's not cost too much money. Really enjoyed getting out today. Great autumn day. Colours go really well with it as well, so well worth it. It's uh, on road or off road. Just good to get out for an hour. So uh, yeah, absolutely magic, made up with it. If uh, you do want to see any more bikes uh, restored, or you've not seen the rally one, watch that one. But uh, if you want to see any more, Please subscribe and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.